My name is Fatima Zara Ahmed. I'm um, also known yes. as Zara Unscripted. I'm um, the founder yes. of the Haven Homes Foundation. Um, Please don't snap that. No, 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 no. So I'm the founder of Haven Homes Foundation. I am a mother of three, and two of them happen to be children with special needs. Yes. And that's the reason behind giving birth to having homes. Initially, when I found myself in this situation that we are all in, all of us are parents of special needs, the first thing I asked the doctors was, um, is there any support group that maybe we can see parents of like minds, they can help you? Because it's, it's something very new to some of us. I have, there's not much information out there. There's not much awareness. And so I, I remember asking them, so where do I go from here? What do I do? What's the next step to take? And they were like, they don't know, but this is what we're faced yeah, with. This is the child. This is the diagnosis. These are the expectations. And because he has severe brain damage, there's not much expectations to some of the doctors. Well, actually, we went further for stem cell, and he's hoping well. So, um, three years down the lane, he's six now. It was a tough journey. Emotions, anger, frustration, depression, anything you can think of. You know, and then the lack of support. People don't understand the journey. People will see you smiling. Ah, it's like you're doing well, no? It's like the child is doing well. They don't know. They don't understand. It's a painful journey. And if anyone tells you that it is easy, it's a lie. It's not easy. But what I can tell you with time, it gets better. It's get, it gets easier. This is six years now I've been managing my son. And then two years ago, I gave birth to a daughter that came with a different complication. She has Down syndrome. She has heart-related problems. So these are two different ball games. How do you strike a balance in between? You study about your child's disability, learn, read. You have to read. You have to arm yourself with information. And then what you can't control, don't beat yourself about it. These are things beyond that. Nobody planned this. And that's why my name is Zara Unscripted. I didn't script it, I didn't write it. It was written for me. I didn't choose it, it was chosen for me. The children didn't choose to be here. But they're here, what do you do with them? You love them, you nurture, you take care of them. At the end of the day, they are a blessing, not a burden. They're, they're, they're more, you, if, you, if you choose to see the possibilities in the children, if you choose to see the possibilities they hold, it is endless. Because of my children, yes, I have been on BBC Africa, I've been on NTA Abuja, I've been on Tozali TV and Magazine, I've been on Ariwa 24, I've been what, on Liberty TV because of my children, because I chose not to see them as a liability. I chose to see the possibilities and the potentials these children hold. They are a gift, a blessing. Just be patient. I always keep saying it's not a sprint. Actually, it's a marathon, and that marathon has a lot of hurdles, thorns. But what I know is there's that spirit in me that makes me keep fighting because every morning I wake up, I see them, they're still alive, they're breathing, they're smiling at me, gives me hope. Who am I to complain? When you have a child that doesn't know how to smile, a child that doesn't have the ability to have tears rolling down his, his, his cheeks, but then he has the will to fight for tomorrow, then who are you to complain about the situation you're in? You have no right. I used to take life for granted. Everything was like, ah, jolly good, jolly good. But when these children came, they shaped my life differently. I viewed life in a different way. You know, so it's just for you to learn patience, resilience, hope. Then your spirituality also plays a role. Because if you choose to see them as a blessing, believe me, you they will become a blessing to you. Only if you change it. It's all in your mind. It's a mindset. And forget about what people tell you. People will tell you these children are evil. They are from the river. They are marine children. It's a lie. They are your flesh and blood. Your, their DNA is in you. Your DNA is in them. You can't change it. You cannot change it. So choose to see the possibilities. And each and every of these children, if you do the right thing by them, what do I mean? Give them the full medications they need, the proper therapies they need, they try. They have their potentials. It's just left for you to choose to see the potentials in them. And then they will reach their fullest. I don't know if you know Elon Musk. 
Any one of you knows Elon Musk, the guy, the, the old Tesla, one of the richest men in the world. He has Asperger's syndrome. Tom Cruise has dyslexia. All these top celebrities you see, they have what we call hidden disabilities. And hidden disabilities are disabilities we don't even talk much about, the autism, Asperger's syndrome. These are hidden disabilities, dyslexia, learning disabilities. Yeah. But they have it. But because their parents chose to see the gift in them, these people are thriving and they have, they are, everybody knows. I chose to see the beauty in having children that are different, not disabled. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.